If a multi-platinum selling rapper, someone that you respect and look up to, suddenly popped up in your DMs one day offering you a spot on their mixtape, what would you do? This may seem like an unlikely scenario, but you'll be surprised to find out how common it is. In fact, thousands of aspiring artists have opened up their Instagram to see messages from the likes of The Game, Fetty Wap, and even the late great DMX, to name a few. These three certainly aren't the only famous rappers who send out these type of messages. There's reports of many artists doing the same thing. It sounds like a dream come true, right? An established rapper offering you a spot on their mixtape because they fuck with your music. But what if I told you that all of these messages from separate artists read almost entirely the same? They go a little something like this. An artist with a big blue tick next to the name, like Fetty Wap for example, will pop up in your DMs telling you that your music is fire and it deserves more attention. And he's got the solution. He's got this mixtape he's working on and he wants you to be on it. He's also down to talk bigger opportunities afterwards. You respond saying, fuck it, yeah, let's get it. Yeah, baby. 1738. And here's the first red flag. Fetty tells you it's $500 a slot, but he's happy to do the work for whatever you can afford. He just wants to see you win. And when we get this deal done, again, we can talk about bigger opportunities. You're skeptical when money comes into it, but you say, sure, the $500 or the $250 or whatever you can afford is worth it if you're going to be on a mixtape with Fetty Wap. Red flag number two comes when Fetty then asks you to send him the money via Cash App, but split it and send it to these two random accounts. Now, this is the point where you're expecting me to tell you that this is all a scam and you're not talking to the legit artist. And you'd be half right. It is a scam, as far as I'm concerned anyway. This is just my opinion. Um, but you are talking to the legit artist. You are talking to Fetty Wap, uh, The Game, or DMX, or their team at the very least. Um, and the mixtape, it exists too. But it's not all it's cracked out to be. Let me explain what happens next after you've paid the money for this bargain mixtape slot. On the face of it, not a lot. Fetty and The Game, etc. will rarely promote these tapes, despite saying that they're trying to see you win, so you'll go and find it for yourself. In The Game's case, he currently uploads these mixtapes to a random SoundCloud account called The Game Playlist, with just over 600 followers that he's created specifically for these mixtapes. And you'll find your song gets maybe 500 plays, if you're one of the lucky ones. That's red flag number three. Rather than promote these mixtapes, the likes of The Game and Fetty in fact actively try to bury them away. In Fetty's case, he uploads them exclusively to a site called topmixtapes.com. Again, the streaming numbers don't really make for good reading, suggesting that he's probably not promoted it at all. So if these guys aren't gonna go out of the way to actually promote these mixtapes, then what the fuck are you even paying for? I mean, you're paying for the fact that you're gonna be on a mixtape or, uh, project with Fetty Wap, The Game, DMX, their name's going to be on it and they're going to promote it. They said they would promote it, but they haven't. They've buried it. So you might as well have made a SoundCloud account, a completely new one, and posted it there because it'll get just as many followers in a week as The Games does. Or you could have thrown it on your own website and it might get as many players as it does on fucking Fetty Wap's topmixtapes.com. What are they actually wanting the money for? They're not providing you any service. Anyway, red flag four. The tape has about 50 tracks on it from artists around the world with zero quality control. I'm not saying the artists on these tapes are bad. They're not. There's a lot of talent on there, but there's a lot of weak shit too. So that line they fed you about fucking with your music, it's a lie. They probably haven't listened to your track at all. Or maybe one of their teams stuck a track on once just to make sure it wasn't three minutes of you just repeating the phrase, fuck Fetty and the game over again. Fuck Fetty, well, fuck the game. Maybe they've just put it on to make sure it wasn't three minutes of that, which would be hilarious if you managed to get that on a mixtape and, you know, be completely justified. So if anyone DMs you asking for these mixtape slots, just send that in, just send fuck the game, fuck Fetty Wap on a three minute loop and see if they listen to it. It'll be a really good test. I reached out to a few UK hip hop and rap groups on Facebook researching this video and I swear down, you'll be blown away by the amount of people who've received the same messages from a plethora of different artists. But the game and Fetty Wap do come up quite regularly among a lot of different people. And it's about the same messages. And these groups only have a few thousand people in, so it's such a small subsection of the wider hip hop community worldwide. But it just shows you how many responses I got from just these UK groups that how 
many artists these guys or these guys teams message in one go they just mass message this copy paste send they probably use like the rap hashtag or aspiring rapper or fire rap or whatever but they'll use hashtags on instagram to find you and then dm you it might be a rare occasion that you've tagged them to try and like, get some promo and then they've replied to you um but for the most part i think they're going to be seeking people out through tags that's the only way i think uh, they can do it but they literally mass message this to people around the world and like i say about four thousand to five thousand people are in these groups and i got this many responses with the same messages from similar artists. Also, I'm sure you've guessed this already, but neither the game or Fetty Wap or anyone that's promoting this stuff actually features on the mixtape. Despite them kind of sometimes vaguely suggesting you'd be appearing alongside them in their like initial sales pitch. So that's a bit dodgy as well. So you're at the end of your paid mixtape slot journey. You're $500 or more down, you've gained no more fans, no more streams, no more exposure, no promo from a major artist. Maybe you've posted about being on the tape which got you a few likes and you know something to shout about. And the game, Fetty and all the rest of them are laughing all the way to the bank with your hard earned cash. Now this is the point where you're asking me, Jono, why would Fetty Wap or the game or DMX or anyone else like that need $500? And to cut a long story short, some of them just ain't really got it like that. I ain't really got it like that, so I ain't trying to do too much. They've got debts, they've got mortgages to pay, you know, they've got big bills coming out and the money dries up because these guys aren't as relevant as they used to be. So these, this $500, it adds up as well. In the immortal words of Tesco, every little helps. Let's look at one of the worst offenders. Fetty Wap's Who Got Heat mixtape series. There's five volumes there, the first coming in 2020. Volume one, 48 tracks at $500 a slot. That's $24,000. Volume two, 55 tracks. Again, $500 a slot. That's $27,500. Volume three, 53 tracks. That's $26,500. Volume four, 50 tracks. That's $25,000. Volume five, 55 tracks. That's $27,500. So across the five volumes, that's an estimated revenue of $130,500. $500. That's a lot of money for doing absolutely nothing and just sending a mass DM to thousands of aspiring rappers across the world. On the game's dodgy SoundCloud account, he's got 62 uploads, the most recent being only seven months ago. So he's made roughly $31,000 from that account. But I reckon he's done this mixtape thing for quite a while and there's a few more flying about online. Just while we're on the subject of money, $500 is a lot of money to a lot of people, especially aspiring artists or struggling artists who are just trying to make a break in their career and maybe they're juggling a few jobs and juggling the music career at the same time. $500 is a lot of money. And, and that's why I'm making this video because I think it's just so unethical and so disrespectful for these artists to use their name and use their star power to get this money from people for something that they know deep down really isn't going to help that artist in any way. Not that the music industry is a very ethical business in the first place but this is just straight up bullshit and like I say it's disrespectful you're probably ripping off people who have bought your CDs bought your albums went to your live shows you know bought your music invested in your merch people that put you to the place that you are today people that you know made you the superstar that you are and you're disrespecting them and ripping them off and that's the way they get repaid for being a fan of yours i think it's just it's just bullshit now i'm not the first to highlight the fuckery of these mixtapes in fact in march 2021 artists that had featured on one of the game's tapes started making their voices heard about how dodgy the whole thing is accusing him of scamming them they highlighted what we've talked about the fact that he puts the tunes on an empty soundcloud account doesn't promo it and doesn't feature on it that last part only really matters if he promised that in the initial dm we got somebody in the line that said that they were scammed by a rapper now what happened love the game got my ass <laughs> what happened back in october he scammed me up some money you know what i'm saying so my song he was tapping in with my music and everything and then he was with it if i was to pay for a spot to get on his mixtape you know what i'm saying that he was promoting he didn't do any of that. How much did you pay to get on a mixtape? I paid $1,000. And then he laughed at me and thought it was funny when I confronted him about it. 
So I ended up putting out of this right store. Are you, and you're sure yes. it was the game? You sure it wasn't like a some other account? Oh, nah, it, it was him. So he made this little Instagram video, tapped in, saying that it was really him that he inboxed us DM. You know what I'm saying? So he had me and three other people tagged in the uh, video, and this is when he first started scamming it. Wow. So buyers be, beware. You know, sometimes you don't always get what you pay for. And surprisingly enough, the game actually responded to these accusations. Rather than read this whole thing out, let me just pick out some key things that the game says here in this Hip Hop DX article. I'll link the whole thing below so you can read it and you can read uh, his side of the story, I suppose. He describes these mixtapes that he's doing as an engine to power you in the early stages of your career. He also goes on to say, People think that paying a few hundred dollars for a video drop is going to make them fucking Lionel Richie. Come on, let's be real, that's not a reality. I wouldn't even expect it to happen that way for me. He then follows that up by saying that if he had the opportunity to go on one of these mixtapes back in the day, he definitely would have, because it would have made his block excited. It would have got people excited that he was on a mixtape or he was on a big artist's mixtape, and it would have motivated him to go even harder. Final thing I want to highlight is just this quote from his business partner Trills. He says, if you go on games bio, he puts every tape that he's ever dropped in his bio. So to sum it up, he's basically saying that the people are complaining that it hasn't made them overnight stars. And if it was him, he'd pay the $500 because it would make people on his block respect him because he could say that he knows this big artist. He says it would motivate him to go harder and he's trying to give you an engine to power in the early stages of your career. What a load of utter bullshit, man. In what world is uploading a tune to a SoundCloud account with 600 followers powering anyone's career? Like in what world, in what reality is the game and his team living on that he can come out and have such a hard neck, have the balls to say that he thinks uploading these songs on a SoundCloud account with 600 followers is helping you power your career? And that is a good way to spend $500. And if he was an artist in that stage, that's exactly what he would have done as well. That's just such shit. Then his business partner goes on to say he links every mixtape he's ever done in his bio. So that makes it not a scam because he is promoting it like he says. Well, if that was the case last year, he certainly doesn't do that now. And honestly, sticking in his bio is the bare minimum anyway. With this response, he fully dodged the fact that he uploads it to this burner SoundCloud account and he doesn't promo them properly at all. In my opinion, at worst, it's a scam and at best, it's a hustle. Depend on how you look at it. Either way, I still think it's disrespectful bullshit. Now, don't get me wrong. If Fetty or The Game or whatever actually promoted these tapes, then I guess the $500 would be up to you whether to assess whether it's worth it or not. Um, so in that same vein, I don't blame people who have paid the $500 to do this because what they were sold at the start is not what they've been given. They haven't had it promoted in the way that they expected to have it promoted and the whole product isn't just what they expected at all, what was sold to them. They were sold a dream basically. But if they were actually promoting these tapes, then you know, I would say fair enough. It's it's up to you whether you think it, it's worthwhile. And obviously mixtapes are a huge part of hip hop culture. Um, obviously it used to be more relevant back in the day when people like DJ Drama would host an entire mixtape of one artist. And that would be a really big thing, a really um, powerful thing for an artist to do because DJ Drama's name held a lot of weight. But it doesn't take a lot of smarts to see that that's not in any way what this is. That's nowhere close to what this is. This is a quick money hustle from these artists who just want to get a quick bucks without doing any graft really and paying off some bills real quick so they get the team to dm thousands of people it's a quick money scam it's nothing to do with the mixtapes that you used to see back in the day or proper mixtape hosting and if you do this kind of thing if you're an artist who has a certain name and you do this kind of thing and you actually promote the mixtapes again fair enough but that is not what we're talking about here we're talking about the exact way that these guys are doing it which is asking for $500, putting it on basically a burner account and not promoting it. Don't take my word for it though. I reached out to as many artists that featured on Fetty Wap's Who's Got Heat Volume 2 for their opinion. And the majority said the same thing, that it was basically missold to them, that they were promised promo that didn't happen. Here's a few of the conversations here. There were so many stories that I can't go through them all, but I'll highlight a couple of the most interesting ones here. This one isn't related to the mixtapes, but I just wanted to highlight it because it shows you that the game or whoever is running his account, their bullying attitude towards this shit. This artist said he had saved up $2,000 to create his next project. And funnily enough, that's exactly how much the game would need or his team to do an intro and some promo for the artist's music. Big coincidence. Anyway, our artist says thanks and that he'll give it a think. 
to which the game's insta replies, nah, this is a now thing, give me the $2,000 now or it's not happening. And thankfully, our artist pal decides against it. How shit is that, man? Trying to force someone to give you their, what they've just told you is their whole budget for a project, trying to force them into giving you that right away, trying to pressure them into giving you that right away, $2,000 because you've said, oh, the, you know, I can do this promo for you, but I'm only going to give you this deal now. So give me the money now or it's not happening. Like, how, that's such bullshit. Like, you can't come out in those articles and say that you're trying to help artists, you're trying to power their careers by taking their entire marketing budget off them that they've just told you. Like, it's so exploitative. Like, it's such bullshit. Uh, and this this message here that this guy sent me is proof of how these tactics work and how pressuring and, and, and bullying that these guys can be or their teams can be. Like, it's, it's, it's a lot of bullshit. There's no excuse for that, really, is there? Anyway, I'm dragging this video on a little bit now and it's stressing me out even talking about it. So let me know in the comments what you think about these paid mixtape slots. Um, let me know whether you think it's a scam, whether it's a hustle or whether you think that the $500 is worth it. Maybe you've done it and maybe you had a really positive experience. Maybe the game did promo it. Maybe Fetty did promo it. Maybe it all went really well and you know it did boost your career. Let me know in the comments and let me know your stories about your interactions with these guys or anyone else who's approached you with this 500 mixtape slot thing um also I, i'm not the first person to you know have came across this uh i saw some local rappers of that in my area get sent these kind of dms and i kind of laughed it off and thought wow you know that guy's quite naive but you know it turns out a lot of people are and like i say i don't blame them because you have this person dming you that you look up to and you can get starstruck and, and what they're selling you isn't really what you're getting so you, you can completely buy into it um but yeah I'm not the first person to bring this up. I saw a big thread on Reddit and that's where I got the OG, some of the Fetty Wap messages from this big post here and a lot of people are commenting and discussing it. And um, so shout out Reddit for that help as well. But let me know in the comments and I'll jump down and discuss all with you because that's what the channel's about. I want to talk to you and I want to find out what do you think? Is it a scam or is it fair promo? Also, finally, everything in this video, everything that I've said is not fact. I'm not presenting it as fact. I'm presenting it as my opinion. So whether I've called something a scam or whatever, that's just my opinion. That's my honestly held opinion. It's not fact. Yeah, you can all work out for yourself what you think. And again, let me know in the comments. Um, but personally, if I was an artist, if I was you and I had that $500, I'd spend it in a more meaningful way and you know get some proper marketing out of it. Because with $500, you'd be surprised at the quality marketing and you, know, you could do for your music off your own back. If you need any advice on stuff like that, completely free of charge, obviously, jump in my DMs and I'm happy to, you know, let you know what I would suggest potentially spending that $500 on. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I really appreciate it. I put a lot of effort into this video, reaching out and doing research and doing some proper journalism for once, man. Proper journalism on this channel. Isn't that amazing? Um, so I'm hoping I've shed some light on what's like an important topic and potentially saved some artists some money and saved them from losing money that they, they couldn't afford to spend. Um, so hit subscribe if you like the video. Like I said before, jump in the comments if you want to talk to me about all this. Uh, follow me on Instagram here. You'll see what I get up to when I'm not uh, sitting in my room doing this video. I do lots of photography stuff. I do lots of other interesting things. Follow me on Insta. Give me a DM. Say hello. Uh, not if you're the game of Fetty Wap though. Not if you're them too. Um, also, there's a members only thing we've got going here. So if you become a member of the channel, you'll help support the channel. You'll get these emoji things and other exclusive shit. So if you want to support the channel more, jump onto my channel page, press the you know subscribe or members button. It's next to the subscribe button, but it should be hitting the subscribe button anyway, if you like to, like I said. Anyway, it's time to go. If you want to watch another video, grab one of them there. They're also pretty good. Maybe not as good as this, but pretty good. Grab one of them. Tim Westwood, though, man. Mad. Mad. Yeah, baby.